guys, so here's my breakfast for you. Um, I'm gonna eat this. Okios, strawberry, um, it's fruit on the bottom, and I know it's not like the best for you, but um, that's okay, that's what I'm gonna eat. And if I look like I'm looking way over here, it's because I'm trying this um, on the flip side instead of straight up and down. So hopefully my videos aren't like, got those black sides on the side. Um, I, I read, read somebody said that was a good tip to do this, so we're going to try it. Okay, so this for breakfast, 120 calories, zero from fat. Um, that's really not all that important. The sugars are 18 grams and that is kind of high, but that's because the fruit is on the bottom. I'm also going to be eating this. I already talked about doing this teaspoon of coconut oil, organic. And my other is my favorite, a whole grapefruit. And that will actually probably keep me full until snack time, which is about two or three hours from now. So you guys have a wonderful day. Bye. That's exercise move one. <laughs> hey guys, so today we're going to be doing a quick little body positivity activity and it comes from Madly in Love With You book, um, if you want to do it along with me. Today's first activity is to... Whenever you think negatively about yourself, when you hear, I hate how fat my stomach is, I hate how fat my arms are, I hate how fat my legs are, my thighs, my butt, whatever. Um, if you think, oh, I'm stupid, um, I should have done that better, or you're thinking, whatever it is you're thinking that's negative and that brings you negativity in your mind, um, you want to look at your hand. And in your hand, in the palm of your hand, you're going to write, I love you. And she says to um, do it like you're in school, like say you're in elementary school, just just draw like you would on your hand like back then. Um, say it's like to annoy, a note to a boyfriend and whatever, um, to a friend. And anyway, so when you are feeling bad about yourself, yank it out and see that you love yourself. And of course, read it. And eventually, that should be a, a mantra in your head and it should stick with you. So I hope this helps you guys, and I look forward to meeting all of my new, um, well, not necessarily meeting you, but talking with my new subscribers, if I haven't already, um, and my new subscribers, of course. Um, thank you so much for being willing to look at my videos and be along with my journey or go along with my journey go the go for the ride on my journey <laughs> of self-worth of feeling better about myself and of getting to the size I want to be at my goal size my goal size is a seven maybe a six we'll see when I get to a seven um, and my goal weight is 135 um, that may change though because I know when you work out a lot of times you're heavier um, and you fit into the size you actually want so we'll see um, so you guys, I love you all and thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe and possibly share the video if it gave any meaning to you. Um, if not, let me know below how I could change that and um, I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks guys. Oh yeah, hashtag team love yourself. Hey guys, it's tips. Well, I'm going to call it tips Thursday. 
Um, I have some tips for you guys who are or attempting to quit smoking or are trying to who are in the midst of trying to quit smoking. Here are some benefits if you are. So if you don't already know this, this should help, this should help encourage you to continue or to quit. So, um, after 20 minutes from quitting smoking, your blood pressure and your pulse return to normal. After eight hours, nicotine and carbon monoxide levels in the blood are reduced by half. Oxygen levels re begin to return to normal. After 24 hours, carbon monoxide is eliminated from the body. Your lungs start to clear out the debris. After 48 hours, there is no nicotine in your body. Um, your sense of smell and taste should improve. After 72 hours, breathing should become easier and your energy levels should be greater. Between 2 and 12 weeks, your blood circulation and your body improves. Uh, excuse me, around your body improves. From 3 to 9 months, your lung and fun and function... <laughs> Your lung function increases by up to 10%, making your breathing easier, obviously. Um, after well, about five years into it, your risk of having a heart attack is half of someone who still smokes. Okay, that's good. Um, and from up to 10 years, your risk of smoking-related lung cancer falls to half of that of a smoker. Um, your risk of heart attack is the same as someone who has never smoked. So those are some pretty cool reasons to continue on your road to not smoking or to continue if you're like in day one and you just want to go outside and smoke like five cigarettes because you're freaking out. Um, now some symptoms and the duration that these can last, which I'm assuming some of these can last longer. Um, symptom number one, nicotine cravings longer than two weeks and I have personally my husband um, quit smoking and it took him a really long time. I think a lot of it had to do with nicotine that was in his system. Um, it's a pretty strong pull. Um, increased appetite uh, that can last for more than 10 weeks. Depression less than 4 weeks. Restlessness less than 4 weeks. Poor concentration uh, less than 2 weeks. Irritability and aggression. Okay, I know from personal experience, this lasted a really long time, and I think it was long, well, this is less than four weeks. I'm pretty sure it was longer than one month, because, yeah. <laughs> um, disturbed sleep, less than a week. So if you guys are experiencing insomnia, you're only getting a couple hours of sleep, or you wake up a lot during the night, and you've just quit sm um, smoking, that is probably the reason. Um, and the other symptom is lightheadedness, less than 48 hours. So, I hope that helps somebody out there to keep on going. And uh, sorry for all the shakiness. Apparently, I can't hold a camera steady ever. <laughs> Alright guys, hashtag team love yourself. And quitting smoking is a move to love yourself. <laughs>
Um, you put a tablespoon on each chicken thigh and you pop it in the oven. Um, before, well, okay, I'm not speaking correctly. Okay. Um, yeah, tablespoon of the marinade. Then you put the uh, jalapeno stuff, but I'm gonna put peppers on there, pepper spices, and you throw it in for 30 minutes. This might take longer because mine are slightly still frozen. Okay, I've talked enough and you've stared at naked boobs too long. All right. Hey guys, it's the Hub Life. I'm hanging out with my hubby while he eats pizza I really wanted. Um, he totally ate all of it. <laughs> Please excuse his finger, it was wanting some attention. Okay, <laughs> have a good one.